Welcome back to our fourth episode on the counting principle. In the previous episodes, we spoke about repetition or no repetition. Please keep this in mind whenever you do any problem on the counting principle. In the next two episodes, we're going to discuss restrictions. Now, there are two kinds of restrictions. The one is where we restrict a position. And the second one is when we do groupings. In this episode, we're going to focus on restriction of a position. What do we mean by that? You will remember from our previous episodes that we have certain number of positions depending on the problem. And then we want to know how many ways we can do every one of those tasks. Now what they will do is they will give us a similar question than before, but they're going to say position one is restricted to this or position three or the last position. Whatever position they would like us to restrict, they will say. So let's now look at an example so that you understand clearly what we mean by the restriction of positions. In this example, you will notice that I use the word action again. This problem we did in the previous episodes as well. And we did this with repetition or without repetition. When we read this, you will notice they say how many arrangements of the word action are possible. They didn't say it, they, those letters may repeat or not repeat. But if you read it carefully, they say how many arrangements of the word action. So only these letters can be used. So that means you can only use them once. Uh, it's very important to read this very carefully. So let's now look at the first part. So we've got the six letters. They, they're not allowed to repeat. We want to know how many ways we can arrange them. If the word will start with an A. So you can clearly hear now that they restrict position one. So let's do it. I'm going to draw the six lines to represent the six positions of the letters. Please remember the letters of the word action can't repeat. And the first position is restricted to the letter A. So the question is, how many ways can we do this position? And it's only one way. There's only one possible letter that we are allowed to use for position one. Now, if we look at the second position, because they cannot repeat, these letters can't repeat, means there will be five of them left. And then there will be four, three, two, and one. Now, according to the counting principle, we multiply this to get the number of arrangements. You will notice that this times one doesn't make a difference to our answer because we multiply. So if we look at this five down to one, like I explained before, this will give you five factorial and the answer 120 when you solve that. Let's now move to the B part of this question. In this question, we still use the letters from the word action, but now they say the word has to start with an A, end with an N. So what they do is they restrict the first position as well as the last position. So let's draw our six lines to represent the six positions. The first position is restricted to the letter A. The last position, position six, to the letter N. But there are no restrictions in between. So how many ways can we do the first position? And that is one way because it can only be an A. How many ways can we do the last position? And that is only one way because it must be an N. 
Now, because those letters can't repeat, we used A and N already from that word. So that means there are only four letters left and they can't repeat. So position two, four ways, then three, two, and one. Counting principle wants us to multiply, to find the number of arrangements. You will notice that this one and that one will not make a difference to the multiplication. So we only need to look at that part, which gives us four factorial. Now, of course, this is easy to calculate, and you can even do it mentally. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Times 1 stays 24. So our answer, 24. Let's now look at C from this example. Remember, it's still the word action, those six letters. We are busy with restrictions of positions. And now you will notice that in this one, they say, you have to start with a vowel. When they say a vowel, they not refer to all the vowels available. They only refer to the vowels in the word action. And you will agree with me, there are one, two, three of them, A, I, and O. So let's draw our six lines to represent the six positions again. We've got six letters, they can't repeat, but there is a restriction. The restriction is on position one. You remember in, in the A part, they said to us that the first position must be A, so there was only one way to do it. Now they say to us the first position is a vowel. There are three possible vowels that we can use. So that means this position, we have three possible ways to do it. Because any one of the three vowels we can use. It's now very important to remember that only one of the three vowels will be here. So that means there will be two of them left plus the remaining three letters. So there will be five letters left to arrange. Because if this is an A, we've got the five left. If it's an I, we've got five left. If it's an O, we've got five left. So that is why position, the first position, we can do it three number of ways. So this will be five ways because we already have one vowel here. Then four, three, two, and one. We need to multiply to find the total number of arrangements. You will now notice that this five down to one gives us five factorial, but that we need to multiply still by the three. So it's five factorial, which we worked out before in A, it was 120. Multiply by three gives us 360 number of arrangements if we start the word with a vowel. In the last part of this problem, they say to us, you have to start and end. So it's now the first as well as the last position must be a vowel. So let's now draw our six lines. So the first position is a vowel. The last position is a vowel. Always remember restrictions you do first. So, in the first position, there are three possible vowels, so we can do it three ways. But please remember, now one of the vowels is already here. So, that means there are two vowels left, so the last position, the number of ways we can do it is two. If A is used in the first position, we can use I or O in the last position. So, that is why this one is three. And that one is two, because we used one already. Now we are left with four letters, because we used one letter, a vowel here already, a vowel there. So there are four letters left. So in the second position, we've got four number of ways, three, two, and one. Now again, please take note always when they go down to one, 
it gives us factorial. So that 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 gives us 4 factorial. That we still need to multiply with 3, and we also need to multiply by 2. So it is the 4 factorial, which we calculated before, is 24, times 3 times 2, which is 6, and that gives us the answer of 144. And this is now the first part of our discussion on the restrictions, where we are dealing with positions. I see you in the next episode.